prosecute cases, that he wouldn't file cases, that he was dismissing cases, that he wasn't filing habitual offender counts. We have a proven record of effectiveness as prosecutor, and I think I'll be able to bring that back to the prosecutor's office. A man familiar with the Vanderbilt County court system is looking to get back in the ring. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shelley Kirk. After serving decades in the prosecutor's office, Stan Levko was trying to take Nick Herman's job. Herman took it from Levko almost eight years ago. Eyewitness News' Stuart Hammer was at the announcement today. What'd you learn, Stuart? Well, Shelley, I learned this race to a November election could be a tough one for both candidates. Levko came out swinging today at his announcement, but Herman fired right back in defense. It set up for six months of campaigning. I'm Stan Levko. And I'm running for prosecutor of Vanderburg County. Round three, Levko v. Hermit. Two attorneys with one office up for grabs. I've got a record of 20 years of doing things, and I, you know, I may change a few things, but I don't think I'll make any dramatic changes from what I've done. I think I'll make some dramatic changes from what have happened the last eight years. This former prosecutor, with two decades under his belt, wants his old job back. He beat Nick Herman in 2006, but lost in 2010, and since then, Levko says it's been a downhill slide. One thing I believe Mr. Herman has done well is to promote himself. I'm guilty of it. Um, you know, I mean, that is what we do. That is one of the priorities that we have in this office and have had for eight years. Herman hangs his hat on it. He believes community and law enforcement makes the justice system tick. That we're going to charge aggressively and that we're going to try cases aggressively. And I, I think the proof is in the pudding there. But it doesn't matter how many tips he gets if he can't convict. I think the facts are to the contrary on that. I, I think we've, we've run a very effective office. Levko touts his own conviction rate around the 80% national average. He says Herman's is well below that. Herman says it's cherry-picking numbers, something he learned to avoid working for Levko as a deputy. Seeing the inefficiencies and seeing the cases that weren't filed and seeing the cases that weren't allowed to go to trial. It's a showdown no one expected in May. I felt like it ought to be done. I, I really feel like... <laughs> I care about effective prosecution, and I didn't think it was being done. This old rivalry is heating up again. Round three starts now. And Levko did not file to run in the May primary, so Democrats in Vanderbilt County will caucus next week to formally name him as a challenger. Did he mention today why he didn't file for the primary? Well, actually, he said quite simply, he just wasn't sure he wanted to do it until mm -hmm. recently. So okay. here All we right. are. This would be something to watch in the coming months. All right, thank you, Stuart, for that report.